back to uh, uh, Mike Kelgren. He is with Billy Murphy, the attorney representing the uh, Freddie Gray family. And they had a news conference a little while ago. Mike, tell us more. Well, I want to start off with Mr. Freddie Gray's stepfather, sir. I know this has been so emotional for you. I understand that you have a statement that you would like to read. What would you like to say? Um, first of all, we want to thank this hard-working jury for their service to the public, their quest for justice, and their personal sacrifice and their time and effort. We are not at all upset with them, neither should the public be upset. They did the best they could. We are hopeful Ms. Mosley will retry Officer Porter as soon as possible and that his next jury will reach a verdict. Once again, we ask the public to remain calm and patient because we are confident there will be another trial with a different jury. If we are calm, you should be calm too. Thank you very much for those words. And Mr. Murphy, I don't know if uh, I see uh, Mr. Gray's mother is here. I don't know yes. if he, she, uh, no, she she's doesn't not wish speaking. No, she's not speaking. No. Uh, and, and I know she has been in court, and family members, you have been in court through this whole process. Mr. Murphy, can you articulate how? How stressful it is for this family at this time, and we just heard the statement. But, but to go through something like this and now be faced with the prospect of a retrial, the um, family's way of handling this case has been amazing. Uh, Ms. Darden has had a very difficult time in dealing with uh, any mention of her son, and uh, her attendance at trial was not without its emotional moments. But even though that's been her experience, and that's also been his experience, uh, this family wants only justice. They don't want a guilty or a not guilty. They want a just verdict. They want a verdict of some kind. And so they're willing to wait for the retrial uh, that we understand will happen uh, on a date to be scheduled tomorrow. And you know, about 5% of the criminal trials in the country result in uh, hung juries. Uh, that's not a small amount. It's a small percentage, but not a small amount. And about 75% of the ones that go to trial afterwards result in a guilty verdict. Uh, about 22% result in a not guilty verdict, and the rest uh, result in no verdict again. So uh, they remain optimistic that a verdict will be reached, even though it will be from a second jury. And obviously, this is a case that has captivated the nation and Baltimore. Do you have any message for the people of this city right now? Yes, you see how calm and, uh, and reasonable the Gray family is. We want everybody to be calm and reasonable. This was a fairly selected jury that simply couldn't agree. Uh, the system worked as it was supposed to work, but it didn't reach a verdict. Uh, there was a fair judge. Uh, this jury represents a cross-section of Baltimore. Uh, I believe that the next jury, and they believe that the next jury, will also represent a cross-section of Baltimore. And this is the way that uh, disputes should be decided, not in the streets, uh, not emotionally, uh, not without a knowledge of all of the evidence that was presented. You know, it, it would be uh, ironic if uh, the black community in particular uh, wanted uh, somebody's scalp and they didn't hear the first witness and they didn't hear all the testimony, and they didn't see the first exhibit. And so this is a time to remain calm and reasonable. It's not a time to wish for a predetermined result, because that's not justice. And you know, the black community has fought for justice and has bitterly complained about the injustice uh, in this system. And they've been correct in doing that. Uh, it would be ironic if that isn't what we wanted for office supporter. And likewise, uh, there are elements of the white community that are going to be with the police no matter whether they're guilty or innocent. Not all members of the white community, but there's some. Because their experience with the police has been radically different than the black experience with the police. They're used to officer friendly, we're used to officer unfriendly. And so instead of bringing these preconceived notions into the case, uh, everybody should be reminded that it ought to be decided only on the evidence and on nothing else. 
Mr. Murphy, thank you, and, and thank you both. I've seen you in, in, both in court. Uh, this is a, a rough all around, uh, so I appreciate you all being generous. A, a, and again, your message is to stay peaceful tonight. And by the way, there are people who think that I was somehow involved in the criminal case. No, I was only involved in the civil case, which has been over for quite some time. And again, you feel that there is going to eventually be fairness and justice here in Baltimore. Well, the odds are in favor of that because that's been the national experience after Honduras. Thank you very much, Billy Murphy, the family of Freddie Gray joining us live. We appreciate it. Safe, uh, please be safe, and thank you very much for your thank time. Thank you, thank all you. Of and I'm you. proud to represent this family. Right, thank thank you. you very much.